Hello everyone, it's Nils Will here. Um, what I'm showing you is an Ecopra copy. I've copied a French company, um, Ecopra. They sell these kits. Um, I've managed to um, badge one together a little bit. The, the float, if you tilt your head slightly, you look at that float chamber and the line for it. That's basically the water level. Um, there's a water feed what goes to that and um, one of them which is original to it's a plumbing fitting a pressure vent fitting it's got a float in it um, the black bit is I've drilled through another um, I think that's an airline fitting what pressurizes with the back of that um, preheating bit and it, it basically goes from there some of the exhaust gets fed into that preheating unit recirculates constantly which is a good thing um, squeeze a bit more burn out of that fuel what we're wasting but they want us to throw catalytic converters onto at the moment bastards um, yeah, it goes to the, the lower part of that picture the steam goes through and it's just a pipe in a pipe a couple of times it goes it goes in just to enable it to get hot enough which then goes up to the air intake um, basically um, steam goes in goes through the pipes and pipes up to the air intake and just goes in with the air into the combustion chamber and it burns with a hydrogen is released from the water at that temperature and it helps flash the chamber and burn everything this is just another view of that showing you uh, the venturi which is great find from the scrapyard funny enough as was most of the metal so uh, i've decided to take the exhaust off and do it, it seemed a lot easier to me showing the cutout and the gun gun fumi tools and um the flexi pipes there it's quite expensive stuff for stainless it's about um about 20 pound a meter uh, with a fitting on each end stainless it works out to 40 pound a meter and i got lucky up the scrappers um it's just gum gummed in um it's all stuff and strapped down uh it doesn't leak seems to be working all right for now you can see my um, EGR valve um, capped off and the Venturi uh, was bashed on there um, the wrong way around um, there's a, a bit of an oil leak coming out of that um, Out the cam, which uh, I've got a spare cam gasket. I'm just gonna take get some Ultrasol polish and polish the cam up while I take it off. Might as well just um, maybe it won't leak then. We never know. I, uh, I'm gonna love and leave you all for now, and hope to see you over on the Scarecrow show. Uh, hope you're all doing well, especially you, Russ and Zero, and. Gary and everyone over there, Tip E, all of you lot. And not forgetting Hawk over there in Ireland. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I'll get a bit more time and do a um, better video. When I find my camera, I've just realised I can do a slideshow virtues with uh, Windows Movie Maker, which I've had on my computer since I've owned it. <laughs> uh, and just realised that I can actually do it. I've worked it out. Oh! Well, I won't be exposing you to too many of this, these things. Um, got a few other ideas. I'll post a few more videos. Um, I'll speak to you all soon. Try off for now. Basically, um, Venturi's on there, but the wrong way around. The EGR valve I've removed, and you can see the cap on the on the exhaust manifold what i'm gonna attempt to do it's an old engine it doesn't have a computer 
I'm going to move the EGR valve near the back in front of the tiny catalytic converter. It's an EBA spacer catalytic converter on these Mercedes sprinters and the old ones. And I'm going to attempt to fit that and feed water in when the engine is actually asking for an EGR. It's going to be squirting uh, a bit of water or vapor in to the catalytic converter, hopefully to shift and dissolve some of the rubbish left over, if any. Um, you see, just on the bottom right there, that's me fuel filter. I've I've managed to modify it slightly and put a coil, a cop around it, which isn't uh, isn't that difficult. You've got a, an old spare fuel filter to wrap it around. I just haven't plumbed it into the um, the, the coolant system yet, which shouldn't be too difficult. And right, just for now, I'm gonna 